the Brimstone Sands anniversary patch needs to be massive. I've said before that New World has a couple of key opportunities for winning people back on a big level rather than just plowing through with decent updates. And the next big update I think is going to be one of those opportunities. The other ones that I thought would be opportunities, well one of them was the PvP Arena update and that didn't really materialise the way that I think a lot of us wanted it to. And the next one after this patch is going to be when we get a paid expansion. But for now let's talk about the Brimstone Sands update, let's talk about what's in it and then after that we'll talk about why it needs to be big. So we do know what is coming in this update a little bit, we know there's no gear score increase, we know there's a new zone and a new weapon the Great Sword. Beyond that we truly don't have much of an idea right? So let's talk about the bare minimum what it needs to be. The new zone Brimstone Sands needs to look fantastic, it needs to be good and so does the new town and honestly I truly believe that it will look amazing. That's something New World has traditionally done when they've put their mind to it and you can see that evidenced in Reekwater and Ebonscale. This zone is going to feel like that in terms of quality but obviously be desert based. So this is sort of bare minimum stuff right? The next thing is I think the Great Sword needs to come out, be fun and not buggy. It's a sad reality that that's on the list but we need that to be the case. So I think that's really as I said like the core minimum. Beyond that I think we need a few extra things. For example I think the new zone needs quite a few new enemies. Not just basic reskins, we need fresh enemies that are going to make the game feel fresh again. I think there will be some continuation of the Varangian Knight story because they've been being added into the world and I don't know if this is the accumulation of that or cumulation. I can't say that word but you know what I'm trying to say hopefully. But we need that and we also need some desert themed mobs that truly look great. I can't think of those desert themed mob ideas but it's not my job I'm not a designer so it is what it is. But we need those new models because otherwise this update will get slated. And personally even if we get all of that that's still really the bare minimum. I think we actually need to see more. One of the things that I need to see is a reason to go to the new zone because if we're not going to get a gear score increase which I think to some extent is the right decision well then we need some reason to actually go be it fun pvp, be it gear catch up, be it collectibles. We need some reason to give it a try just beyond the fun of it. And then and this is important I think we we need some changes to some of the systems. First of all we need the group finder to actually be in the game like it's a little bit sad that that's already not here but that needs to be in the game before this update comes live otherwise this is all gonna look a little bit weird. But then I think we need some wider changes to some of the systems. We need to see what the developers think the biggest issues are and the direction that the game is heading in. For example do they think it's gamble crafting that is the biggest problem? Maybe they think it's the turns being too rewarded. Maybe they think it's the lack of open world pvp. Maybe it's expertise. We just need to see some sort of direction and admission that some of the things that they did was wrong and that they're desperately going to fix them even if they can't fix all of them now because I do truly believe that some of the things I just listed are some of the reasons that this game is not actually more popular. Now you can disagree with me that's fine and as I said we're not going to get all of those all at once we'll get more system updates when we get an actual paid expansion in probably like a year and a bit's time right but I think we need to get some and there's some sort of key features slash systems that I would like to see if not in this update or at least very soon. I want to see cross realm as soon as possible and that is starting to seem a little bit unlikely if the group find is not working it sort of feels cross realm won't work at least for expeditions maybe they'll do it for outpost rush who knows another key thing that is now sort of bordering the ridiculous is a way to manage gear just something basic will do right now being able to save like a loadout and have it be automatically swapped when you swap loadouts would be life-changing in terms of new world we need something there because it's getting a bit insane i'm not necessarily expecting all of these in one patch as i said but we do need to see signs of movement on these issues I do truly believe that and I think this update is going to be important for one major reason they're sort of making it important themselves. This is going to be the roughly the one year patch, the anniversary patch, and it is heavily rumoured, which is now sort of bordering confirmed in my eyes, that there will be a big marketing push with this update. Without revealing too much, I've seen some Twitch streamers be getting together who wouldn't normally be getting together, and we've seen some leaks from the past where it was sort of hinted they would do an anniversary patch, which I think we sort of all just feel is right, even though there's not necessarily like a true source of this. But either way, I'm pretty confident they're going to do a massive marketing push but as I said they really need something to push otherwise it's not worth it just having a new zone and a new weapon I don't think will be all that game changing we need those system changes that I spoke about at least some of them and I do think with this marketing push you'll probably see the likes of Gold and maybe even Shroud get back into the game a little bit maybe paid for that's fine that is the way that the world works these days and I do think that Amazon will go big I don't think they're necessarily going to go all out I think they'll save that 
for when we actually get the paid expansion but they're going to go big i do i do actually truly believe this you don't have to believe me of course i could obviously be wrong but i do think it's important that this patch goes over quite well the summer update has been relatively well received play numbers sort of jumped back up a little bit for the first time in forever and it's really now time for amazon a new world to ride that little bit of momentum that it did have and i personally don't believe that just having a nice looking new zone and a funky new two-handed weapon for us bruisers is really going to cut the mustard with that there has to be a little bit more as i said before like we're one year into this game and not having some sort of gear management if i'm honest is quite frankly a little bit embarrassing at this point we need some basic stuff and we need to see the direction that the game is going to go in i'm personally optimistic and i hope they do not let us down apart from the new zone and the great sword what do you want to see in this update and if you want to support the channel do consider becoming a youtube member it really would help don't forget to like and subscribe and then consider this video on the screen now where i talk about the impact that amazon game studios publishing throne of liberty might have on new world otto it's your life have a beautiful day goodbye